Hey everybody, it's Jerry from the Military Collectible Shop and today I'm on the road at the Badger Knife Club show held in sunny Janesville, Wisconsin. Uh, Janesville is kind of toward the bottom of the state so we actually get a wide uh, multi-state group of people coming in for this fantastic show. Uh, we get people from Illinois, Iowa, <laughs> sorry my Iowan friends, um, Minnesota, uh, I did see some license plates from Tennessee and uh, North Carolina as well. So it, it really does get a pretty good draw of people um, into this show, as well as a lot of knife collectors from Wisconsin and uh, the area. So it's a three-day show, um, and it's not just military knives. It's, it's all, as a matter of fact, it's not mostly military knives. It's actually mostly like handmade custom knives, Damascus made steel, um, and knife making supplies. Uh, different types of handles, different types of steel, uh, different types of uh, abrasives and things that you can get for making knives. You know, if you think Forged in Fire uh, on the History Channel, which I know all the knife guys are going, oh, I hate that show. Um, but it's, it's a fun show to watch. Um, it might not give you a whole lot of information on actual making knives, but it's always fun to see. Um, so, uh, I was able to pick up uh, several uh, military pieces, um, which I will be showing you uh, shortly. So, uh, hello again from somewhat rainy and cloudy Janesville, Wisconsin. Alright, well I had left the Janesville knife show and uh, as I get to about 45 minutes away and a friend of mine calls me and he says like, are you still here? There's a guy who's got some of those knives that you collect here. I'm like, oh no. So, I'm headed back to the Janesville Knife Show. So, life is either a daring adventure or it is nothing at all. So, thanks for being along on this adventure. All right, well let's see what we can see. Unfortunately, Janesville is kind of one of those you can't get there from here places. So it's not off the freeway. Um, I mean, you get there from the freeway, but it takes a while. So the ride is killing me because um, I want to see what this guy's got. So, uh, but I'm driving. All right. Thanks for riding along. All right, well, I had found the guy, um, and not a complete bust. He actually did have six of the knives that I collect, um, but unfortunately, he wasn't selling any of them. Um, he was actually just kind of showing them and or, uh, you know, if he could trade for something that he collects, um, he would do that, which is one of those things that's kind of unique to the knife guys, um, you know, where money doesn't mean as much as whatever the particular thing that they're looking for uh, is. So, so, but it was nice to meet the guy. Um, and uh, we had crossed paths a couple times, but never got it together. So it was good to see him and, and make contact. And uh, so we still might be able to work something out. So I'm hopeful. All right, so now I'm on the second leg of the journey, uh, going to Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, go Badgers. So just a straight shot up from Janesville, which is nice. Um, it actually worked out uh, better this way, having to go back to the, the knife show. Because um, I'm going to be picking up a collection of military uh, vehicles and die casts. Uh, which are one of the things that we like to buy when we can, because guys always like them and they're cool to play with. So the mission to Madison was a success. I have a carload of stuff, um, die casts, airplanes, tanks, other vehicles, tractors, trains, um, all kinds of that kind of stuff. But uh, 
um, but that sells pretty well so uh, always happy to get that when we can uh, it's a nice old collection so in a lot of pieces so we'll look for that coming to eBay near you soon okay so back at the shop um, and just want to share with you what I did get from the Badger Knife Collector Show in Janesville, Wisconsin. Um, one of the first things I got was a German uh, Labor Corps uh, hewer. Um, not in the best condition, um, but an original piece and not an easy dagger to find. That was nice. There wasn't a lot of German daggers there. There was actually only three daggers there, this being one of them. There was a second model Luftwaffe and an army officers, um, both priced ridiculously high at over $2,000 a piece. But then again, it's a different market. Maybe the guy will get them. I don't know. Um, a uh, Czechoslovakian uh, bayonet. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's actually an Italian bayonet. Um, this is one of the first, not this particular one, but this is the first type of bayonet that I ever bought. Um, from the surplus store down on 7th and Wisconsin Avenue. Um, but Italian bayonet for the Carcano. This is the non-folding uh, type, uh, complete with the frog. Uh, so that was kind of nice to find. Um, and a socket bayonet, um, uh, slightly damaged, but um, still U.S. marked. Um, and it was so cheap I could not pass it up even as a tent stick. So... <laughs> Oh, um, and then I also stopped at a little antique store along the way because whenever you're on the road you have to stop at all the antique stores. Um, got a little container of soap, uh, empty, but uh, this is what a lot of guys carried with their personal kit in both World War I and World War II. Um, and then at an estate sale I also picked up um, a Saudi uh, Gulf War uh, medal in the presentation box. So I was kind of surprised to get that and see that but this isn't one that we normally run across a lot um, and so it'll go nicely in our uh, desert war section okay so I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt uh, with me um, as I like to say a bad day at a show is still better than a good day at work um, so it was nice to get out uh, get to the knife show again um, even though I wasn't able to find any of the Wisconsin uh, vocational knives that I look for for my own collection I was able to handle seven of them from the knife guys who had them um, as trade bait. So, oh well, but at least I got to see them. I'm going to be adding those examples to my database so I know they exist now, uh, which is half the battle. Um, so we'll see what, uh, we'll see what, what comes of it. Uh, both guys indicated that they were willing to trade, so if I can find what they're looking for, maybe we can all be happy. Okay, thanks again for joining me. Uh, this is Jerry. You're at the Military Collectible Shop, and uh, thanks for joining me on the road.